Hello everyone, welcome to Art Time with Mr. Gabe. I hope that you're all doing well at home and um, you're adjusting to life as it is right now. I'll be showing you how to do some quick sketches of animals, lots of different kinds of animals, and it will also um, make use of the mark making techniques that we've been learning in class too. All right, now the first thing that you're gonna need is a piece of paper. It could be a plain piece of paper like this, or it could be a lined piece of paper from your notebook. It doesn't matter at all. If you had color pencils, you can use colored pencils. If you have markers, you can use markers. If all you have is a pencil, then that's fine too. I always like it when pencils or markers have the names of the colors written on them. This one you see isn't just orange, it's a golden nugget or has even Spanish or French there too, pepita de oro or let's say pepito. So we're gonna have a golden nugget color for our first animal. What's that animal gonna be? We're gonna start simple with a little fish. The first shape you will need for this little fish is like the letter D. There's the letter D, a capital letter D, I should say. And we're gonna color that in. You can go fast or slow, it's up to you. We're gonna add a triangle to the back of our fish here. And then we're going to add another triangle. Can you guess where the second triangle is going to go? <laughs> like that, that's right. And guess what? More triangles. If you've colored your fish in fast, like I have, you can draw lines going the other way too. And this actually has quite a nice effect. Now we're going to need a black marker and we can add some extra detail. An eye and a mouth. All right, like I said, we're gonna start simple. There you have it, a golden nugget colored fish. Okay, next, I'm gonna switch colors. I have blue and um, another quite simple one, but more or less using the same shapes. We start with the letter D shape again, or a semicircle. This time, we're gonna put it this way around. And another one, like this. Hmm, what's that going to be? Let's color those shapes in. Oh. I almost made a mistake. We add a circle just here. I was trying to go too fast. Uh, now we put triangles. Can you see what it's gonna be? Can you tell what it is yet? Um, another triangle here for the tail, of course sure you can see now and it needs some stick legs and an eye we could use another color for the eye let's go back to the golden nugget excellent there we go let's go with some coral reef for our next color so this is going to be another pretty simple one and same again, a semicircle or a capital D on its side and two circles inside and we're going to color that in. You can be much more careful with your coloring if you want to. I'm going to do the same as I did for the little fish here and go the other way too. special name for that technique. It is called cross 
patching, just in case you were wondering. All right, so what's this thing gonna turn into? Maybe you can tell with uh, the next thing I add, some squiggly lines. How many squiggly lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aha. Uh -huh. It's an octopus, of course, but not just any old octopus. A mean octopus. Okay, so I'm going to switch to colored pencils this time, and um, we're going to work. A little oh there's a little ant there's an ant on my paper <gasps> he's still there okay he's gone now yes so colored pencils just to show you what it looks like with colored pencils did not they they're of course different from markers and um, this this one is gonna be a little bit bigger. You can change the size of any of these animals. You could make them really small or you could try and make them fill the whole page. Okay, so we start with a triangle um, and also there a second triangle underneath. What does that look like? Hmm. Um, let's add in an eye straight away. A big yellow eye. And then a another triangle here. All right, now this should all be colored in. Let's go around the eye a bit more carefully. That's the cool thing about pencils is they they have a really different effect to the marker, don't they? You can press harder or softer to get different textures. And yeah, let's go in different directions too. What does this look like to you? All right, let's continue now. Uh, another triangle. Not like not like the first fish that we did, not here, right at the tip, but coming back a little way and coming off the tail like this. And the same thing underneath, but a little bit smaller, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we need some more triangles. Kind of a big one here, and sort of a big one there, and a small one here, and a small one here. Who knows what kind of fish this is. Let's see, if you're not sure yet, let's put in the last touch here. Yes, let's put in the last little detail here, and then maybe you'll know what it is. A great white shark. Yeah. Now, if all you have at home is just a pencil, let me show you one with just a pencil, so you can see how it looks like. I'm going to turn the paper this way this time. Seems to seems to make sense for this one and let's do it real big we start with a rectangle this time and we're going to put a circle going across the rectangle and two smaller circles either side like that hmm what's that going to be we're going to do a curving line here a circle here and two little circles or dots maybe here and here 
and we're going to carry on with some like rectangular shapes well actually that's not a rectangle it's just a kind of straight shape a rectangle has to have four sides how many sides do these shapes have one two three four five six six-sided shape what's that called it's called a hexagon and um, let's do a couple of those here as well um, at an angle and let's add in some little curving lines here looks pretty good there we have it a um, a gorilla or a chimpanzee something like that maybe a bear I'm not really sure what this one is uh, you can keep it a happy bear or a happy chimp or just like the octopus you can make it into a mean chimp just like that um, with a pencil um, obviously with a pencil you don't have the option of, of colors but here uh, you can add in some furry lines like this we've been studying in class all different kinds of mark making haven't we so here's, here's a good use of some squiggly mark making and you know it's okay if you kind of go outside the lines here as well isn't it because well some of the fur would come outside of the lines wouldn't they big furry chimpanzee now when it comes to the the face here you have to be a little bit careful make those lines smaller now so that they don't cover up the features of the face let's color in that nose I want my chimp to be a happy chimp again can I can I get away with that can I erase that maybe not if I just disguise it with some furry lines yeah it's happy again okay for the next one we're also going to be thinking about mark making but we're not going to be the difference will be we're not going we are we will not draw any of the shapes first we'll just imagine where the shape is and fill it in as if it's there even though it's not so we imagine a rectangle and we use the mark making to fill it in so I'm deliberately doing it kind of scruffy there's one there another rectangle here and then also here and here and then the last ones here and here yeah we're going to finally add a triangle and there we go a scruffy dog here's another one with just a pencil and we're going to start with those semicircles and um, it's sort of a little trickier here in a way we're going to use letter M shapes two letter M's underneath the semicircles like that then we're going to do two letter M's above and these ones touch does that make sense they touch here in the middle now we're going to make these ones touch as well with an extra little triangle shape an extra little v-shape there and we're going to add a little detail like that making a, a, another triangle finally we're going to join these sides up and it really works best if they join up with a straight line or really close to straight 
Can anyone see what this is yet? Well, let me carry on. I'm going to put some little hands up here. And the whole thing gets colored in. And that little piece too gets colored in. Now here you can change the direction of your shading with the, the angle of the body. There we have it. It's a spooky bat. Looks quite good if you add some extra shading under the eyes, this one. spooky haunted house bat. Good, sticking with the pencil now and we're going to use colour pencils too. Remember you can use markers or you can just use pencil or can you, you can use colour pencil, you can change the size of these animals, make them big, make them small. You can put lots of these animals all on one page and if you did that you would make something called a menagerie. A menagerie. This is an excellent and unusual word that means a collection of wild animals. Or sometimes just a collection of weird things. Like we might say that third grade is a menagerie of children. But usually it's for animals. Anyway. You can make a menagerie by putting all the animals together. All right, next one. We're going to start with the letter S shape. And we're going to double that letter S shape up, just like that. And then we're going to add to that letter S shape a rectangle that goes all the way down to the, to the bottom of the S. And we're just going to put in the semicircle shape there at the back, and another semicircle shape here that is not going all the way to the bottom, this one, to about here. And is not as skinny, not as slim as this semicircle, but a bit wider. Mm -hmm. We're going to join that shape like that and just add a little triangle here too. What is this animal? I expect some of you can tell, can't you? Let's add in some legs. Just like that. Let's add in a little tail like that. Now here's where using a pencil comes in handy because we can now erase some of these lines. Remember if you um, if you use actually I need that line. Hmm. Remember if you use um, a pencil on any of the ones I've shown you you can you can erase some of the lines too. That's the good thing, isn't it, about a pencil? All right. Now let's do something a little bit different with this one. Um, oh, forgot to put the eye. The eye of the elephant goes really low down, just like that. And yeah, you know what, let's erase that line after all. And I'm going to change it a little bit, just to make it a little bit more like, um, yeah, like that. That's good. All right, so yeah, like I said, let's do something a little bit different this time. It's going to be an elephant with pants on. These pencils, I've used these ones a lot, so they're, so they're kind of short, aren't they? 
blue and orange. Stripey pants. This orange needs to be sharpened. Well, never mind, you get the idea. Now I want to show you another variation with the elephant. At the moment he's looking, or she is looking where she's going, but if we add in a, another semicircle shape here, for the, another ear, and another eye just here, and finally another little tusk shape here and we can sort of turn the head of the elephant and make it look look like it's looking sort of out towards you and of course you can color the elephant um, as well it would normally be gray but why not do a pink elephant or a purple elephant or a green elephant it's up to you. Okay, now I'm switching back to the page in this orientation and, um, and markers as well. Switching back to markers, we're going to use two colors, orange and uh, brown or tangerine and mahogany. So we begin with a rectangle, not too big in the center of the page and then a really big triangle like that a small triangle at the top of that one and some long triangles here too hmm who knows what this is going to be already uh, next we're going to add lines one there four of them here and finally two of them here we're going to add a small little letter D shape just there oh we're going to add some extra lines there I forgot about those and finally little um, little ridges look pretty good little bumps that go up the neck what animal is this? Oh, there's one more thing. I'm just going to put in a little semicircle like that too. That just finishes off the head for now. I'm forgetting everything this time. Little bumps. It's a giraffe, of course. They have kind of knobbly antlers. Okay, so let's um, color that one in. I'm doing this really rough and fast. Hopefully you will do it much more carefully. But um, you get the idea like this. Let's do it with a bit more care here on the head. That's it. Now here's where the other color comes in, the brown, or as it says on the, on the uh, side of the pen, on the side it's not brown, it's mahogany. We're going to use this one to put an eye. Also to place some of the, the giraffe's patterns on the body. And we're just going to do uh, different kind, different shape rectangles here, put them in different places looks kind of cool and put them going up the neck as well of course getting smaller as they go up don't have to do the whole body 
do just some of the body and colour those in of course on top. There it is, that's the last animal, it's a giraffe of course. Wow, what a lot of animals. We started with the very simple little fish, we had the bird, the mean octopus, and um, that, that's cross-hatching, who remembers what that is? That's the name of this technique where you go one way and then another way with a marker or a pencil or anything. It's all called cross-hatching. Oh yes, the uh, scary great white shark. The um, chimpanzee or perhaps a bear um, with irregular hexagonal arms and mark making, different um, squiggly mark making on its body for its fur. The shaggy dog, the haunted house bat, the elephant wearing pants, and finally, the giraffe. Now, who remembers that special word for a collection of wild animals? It's menagerie. I hope you had fun drawing along with me today and making your menagerie. And um, you can try these animals in different sizes like I said you could put them all together in one page you could do them in different colors um, you could even invent your own animals with using the same shapes that's it for today's class hope you had fun see you next time